Hello, welcome back to the next episode, which I believe is 17 now. Um, so I figured out what was going wrong. Uh, so I'll show you what was up. So the first thing that was wrong was a really silly typo. Um, which was... Uh, over here, in this go to instead of Z progress and then comma, I had Z progress and then M, which it didn't like of course, so change that to a comma and everything's fine. So that was in the uh, return items function. And then the other thing that turned out to be wrong was in the checking of the um, the uh, inventory. Um, I thought that, uh, and I also thought that this was before 1.4 that it was get item count then nothing and it would just use a selected slot um, but apparently you have to fill in a number um, to tell it which slot you would like to check and get the item count of um, so that has to be 9, I didn't have a number here so it was moaning about that it needs to, you need to fill in a slot number here now I'm also doing select 9 and then select 1 I don't know if this is necessary or not if you just fill in the slot number here but just to be sure I'm going to do it anyway um, so that's good. So it should be working now. Um, let me just go down. Yeah, so it's going to go dig a quarry down there. Perfect. So I have a block up here. It's going to go towards this block. Um, that's where it's going to start the quarry. And we're going to fill its inventory up with a bunch of stuff. Some of that, so we put some cobble in here, stone. Actually, let's just leave that out. So it's going to dig the uh, block of wood and then it's going to start quarrying. And it will notice that its inventory is full and then it should return back home here. Um, I think one thing I added as well when I wasn't recording is these home coordinates. So x home, z home, y home, and I made them equal to the current. Uh, y, X, Y, Z coordinates. Um, so it will just return right here again when it's uh, coming to drop off its items. Right. So, let's go. Quarry. We. So it goes off to the block over here. So you can see that I can get into its inventory. Oh. Oh yeah, because it's digging the first layer, which is <laughs> not very much. So now it's going to dig down, it's dug another block, oh, and there we go, now it's going to go back home. Now notice that um, because it's going to a certain Y coordinate, it's just digging right through anything that's in its path, um, including all these sand blocks, which is not ideal. And uh, now it's going to go here, it's going to chuck all this stuff on the ground there, so you've got all the crap coming out, and then it will go back to where it left off. Now when it does that, it's also just going to dig right through anything that's in its path. Now you can imagine, now when you get down to low Y levels, it's going to be digging through the ground, random tunnels, it's going to be really ugly. It would be better if the turtle would uh, go up to a certain level, then travel to its location it needs to go, and then go down again. Um, rather than doing that, because we um, make the Y coordinate uh, be correct first, so we do the go to function. It has a tendency to just dig right through the ground and make these stupid tunnels. Um, so we need to fix that. But one thing that was cool, it dropped off its items. So we've at least fixed that. That's good. It's working perfectly. Um, now it's just going to fill up with sand and all of this stuff until it needs to again. Um, so I'm going to try and mine it here and we can go back and fix some things. Um, just give me a second here while I blow my nose. Awesome. Colds are so much fun. Right. Um, let me grab this guy. Right, so one issue we're having now is that when it's returning its items and going back to its current progress location, um, it digs right through the ground and that's not really ideal. So really when it's doing those kinds of uh, trips, like going back and forth to its home, we need it to travel at a, you know, a more convenient Y level rather than in the ground. So let's um, make it do that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a Y coordinate 
and call that y travel and it's going to be the uh, y coordinate that it travels at rather than uh, the current y coordinate it has happen happens to have happens to need to go to so I'm going to make that y85 um, you can check around in your own world see what works for you doesn't really matter so what we need to do now is that when we um, are going to the home for example see here's the return items function rather than go to um, x home z home and the y home we're gonna go y travel first so that first thing it does is go to the correct y and then it will go to the um, x home and z home and then to get down to the correct level we can go x home z home and then y home so we use y travel first and then y home so that it hovers above the home and then goes straight down rather than digging through the ground um, and the same for when it goes back so currently we're doing go to x progress z progress y progress we're going to go go to uh, it's going to be egg progress z progress and y travel and then it will go down back into the, the quarry um, Yep, yeah, that's good. And then one thing maybe we should do. See, we're doing dig quarry there now, and dig quarry will do. Go to x quarry, z quarry, y quarry, and we'll make this go to x quarry, z quarry, and then y travel. Um, so that when it goes to the quarry initially it will also do this at a, a nice high y coordinate and then go straight down to the quarry. So that might work a little bit better. Now um, our quarry is a little bit lower now so let's uh, change that up a bit. So we're at y70 now so we'll uh, change that. Um, let's go all the way down. So the dig quarry is still the same place but a little bit lower. Save, exit. Alright, let's try this again. Oh wait, before we do that, might as well test the uh, full inventory stuff. Actually woods might not be a good plank. Actually yeah we could do wood. Uh torches, the stuff, sticks, why not? Glass panes. Some sand. Right, go for it. So here we go. It's going to move up towards a good Y level now. That's Y85. And then once it gets to the correct location, or the correct X and Z location, it'll go down. And it should look into the right direction as well. Yeah. And then it will start quarrying. So let's just... Uh, wait for it to finish the invisible layer, go back to the next layer, take some stone, plink. oh, it's got a full inventory already, it's gonna go back to Y85 and then head home. Now once it gets to the home X and Y it will head back down again, drop off his stuff, so chucking that out. There we go. Blink, and then I go back up again. I'll pick this up for him. And it will head back to the quarry. And now we're not having all these ugly tunnels through the ground, uh, which will mess up the environment quite a lot. So it's going to be a nice, neat hole now. And not the random ugliness. So that's very nice. And it'll go back here and it'll continue mining again. Perfect. And it'll keep doing that until it gets to Y6, I think we uh, set it at. So pretty much, um, we've finished our quarrying turtle, haven't we? Uh, that's good. That's good, good, good. Uh, so, I'll let him dick around over there for a while. What we could start doing now is creating a massive army of these things to make the whole process a little bit quicker. 
because one coring turtle is very nice, but if you have like ten, it's uh, a little bit more awesome, of course. So I think next episode we'll be moving back here, um, and we'll set up a bunch of these guys, and we'll start working on our central computer that will um, control them and tell the turtles where they need to go, where they need to be digging. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you then. And in the meantime, you can enjoy your quarrying turtle um, and have him drop off the stuff that he's collected at a location. You can use the uh, setup I'm using here with the uh, our chemical chest and the uh, black hole ring or amulet or black hole band it is. And the chest will suck in all the items. Or if you're using Computer Craft 1.4, you can just have him the uh, turtle put the items in a chest with drop. I think you just use drop and it will uh, put the items in the chest automatically. So yeah, I hope to see you next time. We will continue uh, working on this and make it even more awesome than it is right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.